Now, before you say anything in the comments and judge, I know, that's why I didn't go with the name. I didn't pick it because of that. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so pumped because I am finally going to be making the girl names that we like but aren't using video. I have been wanting to make this video for some time now, to be honest, and it took somebody actually requesting it for me to be like, okay girl. It's coming your way, but I have 10 names I'm gonna be sharing with you guys that we did decided not to go with, but really did like. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it, and subscribe down below because it really does help support my channel. The first baby girl name we really liked but will not be using is Ellery. I liked this name. I think my husband was like, if like iffy about it, but there's two different ways of spelling it. I wanted a name to have a really sentimental meaning, something that was like related to God or something that had something that, I don't know, like an impactful name. And that's why I liked Ellery because it's spelling with an I-E at the end, it means salvation. And I thought that that was really cool because that, cool, that could relate to Christ, you know, but it's still feminine and it was still a pretty name. If it's spelled with an O-R-Y, then it means popularity. And I was like, so that kind of like differed me away from the name. That one was one that we liked but are not going to be going with. Baby girl name number two that we liked but aren't going to be using is Evelyn. This one was the OG of names. For the longest of my pregnancy, that was the name. Uh, we were going to name our baby girl Evelyn. I really, really liked that name. But this was actually the name that, that made us decide we weren't telling anybody the name in the end until they met the baby because it was just overused and it made us not like the name. Like that's why we decided not to go with this name. There were so many opinions, there were so many people commenting on it. It was so overused that we were like, oh. <laughs> we were like, okay, we're not going with that name anymore. That's out the can. But everybody still thinks we're naming our baby girl Evelyn. They just think we're not saying, but yeah. That's not what we're naming our girl. Baby girl name number three is Farley. Now before you say anything in the comments and judge, I know, that's why I didn't go with the name. I didn't pick it because of that. It sounds too much like fart. If you pair it with a cute little girl like in this picture, it's it's such a cute name. But on the outside, like that poor thing is gonna get made fun of the rest of her life and I just couldn't validate as a mom naming my kids something so close to something so vulgar. Like, yeah, I just couldn't. But I personally really like that name. It just was not gonna happen for us. Name number four is Avely. Now, are you guys getting some kind of trend here? We really, really liked this name. My husband was not a big fan of the spelling. He said the spelling was too much. It was too messy. It just was too much for him. To me, I liked it because I liked how unique the name was, but I thought it was a beautiful name. In the end, we just didn't go with it because my husband had a very strong opinion on this one, but in the end, I still really like Avely. It is just very different. Name number five, Avalor. Now, I know this one is so different. Like, it was very unique. Like, I don't think I've ever heard somebody name their daughter this. But I decided not to go with Avalor because it was way too masculine. Like, if you guys have seen How to Train a Dragon, it reminds me of a name from that kind of culture. Like, it's very rough, it's very like, masculine, feminine name. I, you know, like, I just felt like Avalor, I just couldn't validate it. But I did like it enough to have it on the list. But I just, oh, after looking at it, I was like, okay, I don't know what I was thinking. Name number six, I am obsessed with. And to this day, I still am so obsessed with it. My husband was not a big fan of it, but it's Payson. To me, Payson reminds me of a baby girl name that's like, she's sporty, she's fun, she's outgoing, you know, she's feminine. I like Payson, I, I just do. I just really like that one, but my husband was not a big fan of it, and so we kept it on our list, but as of right now, that's just a name I really like, but are not going to use. Number seven is Elsie. Now this one's actually a family name, hence why it was on the list, but I also really liked because in the name, the meaning is Oath of God. So I really, really liked how it had that sentimental meaning. It was connected to God. The fact that it was a family name, and to me it was a little too sharp of a name. I kind of like a little bit longer. Elsie, it was too short and too choppy, 
but um, my husband really liked this one. I really liked the name, hence why we kept it on the list because I really did consider it. But in the end, this is one of those names I just love, but I'm not gonna use. Name number eight is Faye, and this is a name my husband actually picked out, and I was not a fan from the beginning. But to me, this one just reminds me of like fantasy characters or something you read in a book, or like, to me, I was like, no, it just, it just, no. Fantasy character equals daughter, but it just, it felt weird. Number nine is Charity. I love this name because it just reminded me of something we believe in in our church and it just, what we should live by every single day. I thought it was feminine, I love the meaning, but in the end, it's a very, very popular and very used name and I just, I wanted to stray like far away from any name that's like highly used because I just wanted a, a unique name. I do love the name Charity. If your name is Charity, I love it. It's beautiful. I really do. The last name I am obsessed with, it is Parklin. Now, I really, really, really liked this name. Parklin was one of my favorites, but in the end, I couldn't get past the fact that it was Park and then the Lynn at the end. The whole Park part of the name was too much for me. I was like, I can't stop thinking of you're parking your car, you're going camping and you're parking. Like, and I just didn't know she would be made fun of for that either. So I, in the end, I, I had to weigh it out the pros and the cons. And I'm like, as much as I love Parkland, it's just way too choppy and reminds me too much of driving and parking my car. So <laughs> I'm not gonna associate my daughter with parking my car. That's it for all of the 10 names we like but aren't gonna be using for our baby girl. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video. I wanna know in the comments down below what names you guys like and actually would name your daughter Daughter, if you guys are pregnant or have considered girl names for your future babies. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!